Hello, Unfazed here. I'm just gonna give you a quick tutorial on a new graphic I've been producing. So yeah, just pick your favourite colour. I don't know any colour you want. I've chosen a light green. Actually, I'm gonna use quite a dark green to start with. Um, create a new layer. By the way, 500 by 500 pixels. Yeah, whatever. Um. First, you want to start off with the eclipse tool. Make yourself a nice sized ball. And just center your page, yeah. yeah I, I want to go to blending options. Right, click contour and bevel emboss, sort of, yeah, like that. Make sure that you've got both on. Um, set that to 42. That to 250 and that to 16 then moving down here set this to 54 and this to 45 ok so you can see I've got a nice gradient just check that before you move on then go to satin and I've already got this preset but you put that to 50 11 14 and make sure that you got this shape. Oh shit. Right. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? There you go, that shape. Click OK. You've got a nice effect around the edge now as well. Mm, that needs centering a bit. That's better. Right, next thing you want to do, you want to duplicate the layer. So duplicate it, name it whatever you want, I'm not really bothered. Make sure you move it underneath that so it's like that see right next step um adjustments hue and saturation lightness minus 100 okay then when you've done that press ctrl t and this should pop up now move this down to about there then press ok next thing you want to do is go to filter Blur, motion blur, 140. I've already, I've already got this preset to when I do these. So 140 pixels. Okay. Go back to filter, blur again. Gaussian. I don't know how to say that, but whatever. Yeah. Click that. Eight pixels. Eight point. Oh, same difference. Yep. Yeah. Right. Next thing you want to do. You know, if you want to put some text on, so at the minute I'm making this for my like sponsor, Laven Design. So I can see that. What the hell? Oh yeah. <laughs> Make sure you put it on top. Else you won't show. Photoshop's messing me about. Right. Um, now, if I was you, I'd leave it without any bevelling emboss, anything, because it looks so much better. There's no like, yeah. Just leave it as that. Next step you want to do is you want to choose just a little bit lighter than you had last time. So if you can see that, perfect. Like, just a bit, a little bit lighter. Um, click your gradient tool. All oh, right. Make sure you go back to your background. That's the center. You go back to your background. Stick it there. Just straight up. And there you go. Save it to your little GFX folder, which I've got here. I've got some good logos, crap logos, 3D logos, whatever. And lay them 3D. Number one, I don't know. <laughs> Save, and that's about it. If you have, have any more questions about this, just um, message me. Yeah, I'll leave a link in the description. Of no, I won't. What am I about link in the description for? I'll just subscribe. Thanks.